Thank you and welcome. Um, this is Mpo Mpego. Uh, so I will be demonstrating a um, project named, well, I named it the Smart Home Automation Control um, using a Raspberry Pi, which is enclosed here, and an Arduino, and a couple of sensors. As you can see, uh, we got an MQ2, which is a gas sensor, and SRO4, which is ultrasonic. Um, LDR which I'm using as a light intensity and a small infrared receiver also a DHT11 which is a uh, temperature and humidity sensor and a PIR for motion detection also I've got a webcam connected to the, to the Raspberry Pi and I will be demonstrating with my Android based smartphone how to um, switch on and switch off appliances around the house as you can see for my demonstration I'm using a uh, basic lamp just for sanity checking and with no further ado I'm going to introduce you to a simple project that I came up with it's a smart home al smart alarm simple uh, so imagine instead of hearing a depressing continuous beeping in the morning for you to wake up instead uh, of the beeping you wake up to amb ambient noise or ambient music and thereafter it reads you the time um, and the current news also the weather outside and also the forecast for the weather and right now I will be using um, a website called news24 to retrieve my uh, news data and then with not much wasting time let me quickly demonstrate for you so I have SSH to the Raspberry Pi from my local PC and then I'll just execute the program there so the idea is to put this as a scheduled uh, Python script but right now I'll just execute it here so the idea is to schedule it every day at 6 a.m. so that it wakes me up to this sound the ambient noise at startup this is the ambient noise plays about for 27 seconds so I figured by 27 seconds you would have woken up by now Conditions for today. Overcast clouds with a current temperature of 28.8, a low of 15.3, and a high of 15.4. And now for the latest news around the country. Gao Tang Premier David Makara says the youth of today have their own challenges, but they are ready to tackle them. Minister in the Presidency Jeff Radler says the Higher Education Department has to tackle language issues at the various universities. President Jacob Zuma and his deputy Cyril Ramaphosa have arrived at the Orlando Stadium in Soweto to loud cheers and applause as they went around the stadium greeting supporters. Deputy Minister of Higher Education and Training and Aduzi Manyana says credit must be given to the youth of 2015 for making fees must fall their generational struggle. South Africans firefighters who went on strike in Canada were ruthlessly exploited. The National Union of Metal Workers of SARS said on Thursday. Minister of Water Affairs and Sanitation Lompila Mokanuna says the youth of today must define themselves by fighting for economic freedom. Thank you. So they are just demonstrated a simple smart alarm. Fortunately, all right. So that was the smart alarm, and thank you for watching.